Hi, it's Andy again, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to parse the package manager to see if some apps are installed. Uh, this is a very simple application. Uh, what we're going to do is see if there's a contacts app installed, a camera app installed, and YouTube installed. Now since I'm running the uh, on an Android emulator, the YouTube app will not be installed, so this will always show as not installed. Um, I'm going to go through the code and show you how I determined uh, the package names for each of these. Um, two of them, these will be installed, so it's not running uh, because I haven't added it into the code yet. I'm going to show you how this all works. So uh, I just created uh, the linear layouts for these, um, not the preferred way to go, as uh, this is very inefficient, but this is a simple app, it really doesn't matter in this case. All right, so here's the code. We have three text views that we're going to change. Um, we have the YouTube, the camera, and contact. That's all here on the right-hand side here. They're all, by default, we'll say not installed. Uh, we're going to set up Booleans, which are true-false statements. Um, and this is where we're going to need to get the, the app uh, name. Now, this you can't find this um, in newer versions of Android by just going through... Um, the settings the application manager so what uh, you, you can do is if you want to cheat or you already know the name you can just put it in there but the cheating method that we're going to use is uh, we're going to use the uh, Android debugging bridge to parse to see what the actual names for these uh, applications are uh, if you have a copy of the application these are all in the manifest um, so you can open them up as zips Okay, I was not expecting that. Hang on one second, I'll get this up and running. Okay, so I figured out what my issue is. It wasn't that I didn't have something installed, but you have to access the actual ADB shell here and then uh, put in that code. So PM would be package manager, doing a list of the packages. So here's the, the list of all the uh, applications that are installed on the device. So we're just going to go through these. We'll get the contacts application here is com.android.contacts. So we're going to copy this and put it into our here. So com.android.contacts. And then we're also going to need to get the one for the camera. Since we know that there is a camera app, it's just uh, not very functional. Let's see. Okay, so I don't see a camera app installed. So we'll change it to uh, the gallery. We'll change this to gallery since that's all that. So gallery is com.android.gallery. And we'll change this all to gallery code. And I'll upload this for everybody. So we need to change this file as well so that it says gallery. And we change the name of this text view right next to it to gallery as well. Okay, so now when we run this application, everything the first two should show that they are installed pull up the emulator 
See, now we've changed the text to installed. That's because we know that these two apps are definitely on a device. Um, so what we did here is if this is installed, so we have the gallery, the contacts, we're going to change the text to installed. But since we don't have a YouTube, it's not going to show up as installed. So this is going to be false. Now, if you run this on your phone with uh, that has YouTube installed, this will change to installed. So the part of the meat and potatoes of the code is actually right here in the package manager. We need to get the package manager. We're setting a, a boolean for this um, method here. By default, it's going to be false. Now we have to do a try catch clause here because uh, if you don't have the pack, uh, application installed, you're going to throw an exception, which is this package manager name not found exception. So if we didn't do this as a try catch, it would actually force close because we don't have the YouTube application installed. Um, so we need to get the applic um, get the package manager, which and then get the package info. We already know that this string, this URI, is the string that we're uh, putting into it right here. And then uh, we need to, you put something here. We're actually not going to be using the get activities. Um, we're just going to see if it's, uh, if, if the application is there. Um, but this is one of the things you can do is you can get the activities and launch the activities if you, uh, if you wanted to in another app. Uh, but uh, so we're just going to get them because it requires uh, an int, an integer. So this is one of the integers that's a valid integer. So we're not actually going to be doing anything. We're just going to be, um, this is just a placeholder. So then we're going to say that this Boolean, oops, added undo, is going to be true if, uh, if that returns as a true statement or if, if this uh, application is installed, we're going to set this boolean to true. So, uh, and if not, which if we were to throw this exception because it's not installed, we're just going to say that it's false instead of force closing the app. Uh, and since we're not overriding, we have to return either the true or false. So that's why we have this um, um, this uh, phrase right here. This this boolean. Okay, so that's it to the app. It's pretty simple. I uh, hope it was easy to follow and uh, if you have any questions, let me know.